Today we're going to be looking at a robin. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel Casualistic and hi to my new subscribers. Thank you very much for joining me. So today we're going to be looking at this little guy, a little robin. Now as you can see he's quite small, it's about two inches roughly size wise from top to bottom. Um, now I've put a little hanging tag on, well, a little bit of yarn to hang him, because um, I'm actually going to hang this on my Christmas tree. Um, but of course you could make this just as an am amigurumi toy, and the pattern actually was designed to be um, a decoration, but you know, got a little one, it's good for holding on to. Um, I think this is really cute. I'm so pleased with how this has come out. It's actually uh, quite a simple pattern, so if you're used to working in the round, um, you should be able to do this. So yeah, how cute's that? And he's even got a little tail. Isn't that sweet? Um, so, um, I used a 4mm hook. Now the pattern didn't actually specify uh, what size hook to use. Um, so it's really up to you. I went for a four millimetre um, because this... Ooh, I've dropped it on the floor. That particular <laughs> hook, um, it's a, just a metal aluminium one, um, but it's got a lovely coating on it. Um, I don't even know what brand it is because it came with a kit. It is so smooth to work with and it is my all-time favourite hook, that one. Um, so I do like using that whenever I get the opportunity. So that's part of the reason why I picked it. Also, the yarn I've used was good for uh, anything between a three and a four millimetre. So that's what I've done. So I'm going to go through the yarn and the pattern, um, what the pa where the where you can find the pattern, and then uh, obviously details about the, about the actual design itself. So um, for the yarn, um, for the brown, so for the wings, uh, for the tail, and obviously the top part of the body, I've used um, Mariner Double Knit in the colour C-040 chocolate. This is an older code, um, but they still do. Um, brown yarn, brown yarn's brown yarn. It's a, all, this is all double knit, all 100% uh, acrylic. Um, then I've used, um, I have taped these up just to hold them in. Um, these are just um, little scrap bits that I, I had out of my stash, that project I did a very long time ago. So, um, but I just felt the colours work, so that's why I've actually gone off from Mariner. <laughs> oh, shock horror. Uh, so, this is uh, Stylecraft Special DK. There you go, as you can see it's one of the older labels um, and uh, so um, Mariner Double Knit's around about, I think around about 300 metres a ball, um, the Stylecraft is 295 metres which is 322 yards so they're around about the same um, meterage on them, all 100% acrylic. Um, so the shade of, of this one is 1081 and it's called Saffron. It's kind of a goldy colour. I think the last time I used this was actually this time last year for some of my nativity uh, characters. Whoop! Dropping things. I keep dropping things at the minute. I don't know what that's about. Um, and then this one again is a Starcraft Special DK and it's shade uh, 1246 and it's called Lipstick. So it's quite a rich uh, red. It's, it's Coming up a bit brighter on my screen. I don't know whether it will come up as bright in when I edit. Sometimes it is different on the screen to how it looks to you guys. Um, but it's kind of a, a rich red. It's not like a poppy red. Um, more the colour of a robin red breast, basically. Um, so the pattern is called the Christmas Robin Decoration. And it is by Jessica Felton. So there is her name there. And that's the name of the pattern. As you can see, my printer wasn't uh, too great when it printed. Uh, <coughs> we've got to get some more cartridges. Uh, that's for after Christmas. Um, so, um, this was a free pattern. I um, just want to say a special thank you to Lucy Coates. Um, she actually gave me a heads up on this pattern and thought it would be something fun for me to do on the lead up to Christmas. So thanks, Lucy. Um, that was a huge inspiration. I absolutely loved it. I really enjoyed doing this project. Um, so I'm going to put the link down for Lucy's channel down in the description in case you've never heard of her. She is a fellow YouTuber and one of my lovely friends on here. Um, so, um, basically all you need is three colours um, of yarn. 
Um, now for the beak on this pattern they actually used felt so you could uh, stick with the pattern and use felt. Um, I don't have any felt, that's not something I really have in supply. Um, so I have actually designed my own beak so I'll obviously go into that at the end. So, <sighs> right, so you start at the top here with a chain two and then you work single crochets, US terms, double crochets if you're in the UK, um, into the second chain from the hook. The next round you double your stitches, so it's two single crochets in each stitch from the previous round. And then rows three to six are standard amigurumi increases. Um, I don't want to give too much away the pattern, obviously I'll try and keep a balance, um, even though it's a free pattern. You know, I want you guys to go and download it and, uh, you know, have fun with it yourself. So, um, standard amigurumi increases. So by that I mean you do two single crochet in the first stitch. So the first round would then be, <coughs> the next stitch would be one single crochet, two single crochet, one. And then the following round you do two single crochet in the first stitch and then two, two stitches following. So it would be one in each of the next two stitches. And then third round you do three and so on. So just in case you're new, new to crochet, you don't know what I mean. Then rounds um, 7, 8, 9 and 10 are straight single crochets or double crochets if you're in the UK. Nice and simple. You then change to your red yarn. So by that point, literally 10 rounds, you're already down to there. This is a lovely quick uh, project. Um, so then you join your red and you do two straight rounds of single crochet or double crochet if you're in UK terms. And then rounds, um, if, this is obviously once you've changed the red, so rounds uh, three to six are standard amigurumi decreases. So nice and easy. Um, so by standard decrease, I mean single crochet two together in the first stitch or double crochet two together if you're in UK terms. Um, and so the first row will be single crochet in the next four stitches after that and repeat. And then the following row will be two, two uh, single crochet two together and then three uh, stitches and repeat and so on. Um, after row six you then stuff it with um, stuffing. Um, I'm still using up the last little remnant of my stash before I go on to the stuff that uh, the lovely Donna sent me. So um, this didn't actually... Whoop! He's trying to fly away. Um, <laughs> so um, I'm still on my last little remnant of, of my stash. So um, it didn't take much at all. So it's a, a great little project. Um, and then after you've filled it up, you do another decrease row and then you finish it off. Um, and then you do the standard thing of uh, weaving your needle in and out of the stitches just to close the hole. And uh, obviously weaving your ends. And then you've got a nice little round body. Um, then, again with brown wool, you make the wings. Now the wings are actually worked in a circle. I can't, um, because I've sewed them on, so it's a bit, a bit tricky to show you. But they are actually worked in the round. It's not very easy to show you on camera because it's such dark, dark yarn. Um, so again, it will start with a chain two and you work in single crochets in the second chain from the hook. Again, second row will be standard increase row of two in every stitch. Um, and then the third row will be a standard increase row for amigurumi. Uh, rows four and five are just straight single crochets or double crochets in UK terms. And you finish off and you do two of them. Um, and then basically when you're sewing it onto the body, you just flatten the circle um, and stitch, stitch them on. Um, I've done it a couple of rows above uh, where the brown ends. And I think that's worked out quite cute there. Um, so that's how that's done. Then for the tail, again, which is worked in the brown, um, you start again with a chain two, you work in the second chain from the hook with just um, three single crochets or double crochets in UK terms. Um, the second row is a standard double all your stitch row, so two single crochet in every stitch. And then the third row is a standard amigurumi increase row again. <coughs> And that's it and you finish off. Um, now the uh, tail is actually not worked in the round, it's worked um, backwards and forwards. Um, so whereas you would be working round and round, you actually, you do your first row and then you turn. You do your second row and then you turn 
and then third row and finish off. So you get a half circle basically. Um, and then that one I've stitched one row above where the brown ends and I think that's just about right actually. I'm quite pleased. I'm actually pleased with my sewing for once. Now for the um, beak that I've made, um, the beak was actually my own design. So, um, so I can obviously give this the full bits of this away. So um, my beak, um, I did chain five. I did uh, one double crochet, that's US terms, which is a treble if you're in the UK, um, in the third chain from the hook. And then the next stitch, I did a slip stitch and I fastened off. So nice and easy. And then weaved in my ends and then the wider part, obviously I've stitched between the eyes. Um, now I've used, um, the pattern does say to use beads, I do believe, for the eyes. Yes, it said to use beads, so you could do that. Um, I don't really have a lot of beads and I prefer safety eyes. Um, I forgot to measure the size of the eyes, so I'll put that down in the description for you. Um, obviously you need, if you're going to do safety eyes, you do need to put those in uh, before you start putting the stuffing in. So you put those in just immediately before. Um, and I've done mine one, two, between rows three and four from the where your brown ends. Um, and that's it, and then I've just done a little bit of um, yarn, I've threaded it through, I've just done a knot at the top, and then I've hidden the knot inside of the robin. And that's it, super easy. Now, um, the reason I'm hanging this on my Christmas tree, um, I'm sure most of you will know, but um, there are certain things that can signify um, when one of your you know members of family or somebody that you've lost um, that's passed over um, can be around and um, it's quite a familiar thing I think most of us know that robins can be a sign that a loved one is nearby that's passed over um, butterflies and uh, feathers can be another indication um, I've actually had all three of those happen to me at various times um, particularly when I'm thinking of my nana at my friends or my brother who have all passed away um, so I've made that basically to put my tree just as an act of remembrance uh, for people that aren't here because I think for most of us certainly when you know certainly when you get to your 40s and above or even younger um, I've had friends die when I was in my 20s so um, I think you become acutely aware at Christmas of the people that aren't here anymore um, and I know that there are people that perhaps have lost somebody this year um, as you all know that I've been to three funerals this year um, one of those was a family member um, so uh, you know I think we're all kind of aware that I think you're more aware of who's missing at Christmas aren't you um, so that will be going on my tree just as an act of remembrance for everybody that has gone and I will see you again I have uh, quite a strong faith I don't really talk about it on here but I do so um, yeah so cute but of course you could use this as a little toy um, yeah it's, it's really cute so I'm going to be keeping this one because I've used it out of my own stash I will be going back to my charity stuff in the new year um, so that's it for the craft bit nice and simple and I've managed to do a video yay um, I've almost got the, it's again it's just another small uh, decoration for a tree or for hanging out in general um, that will be the next video uh, which I should be able to do at the weekend um, hopefully by then everything will have calmed down significantly um, so yeah um, so life update um, whew, I haven't stopped really lots of tidying and cleaning and stuff um, I've got pretty much all the presents done, everything's wrapped by one thing now um, and one thing that's still to be delivered because um, some naughty person stole our par one of our parcels um, it came up as handed to resident and we were in all day and it wasn't handed so one of our neighbours must have received it and hasn't fessed up um, but the laugh's on them because it was actually uh, a bible so clearly someone up there was telling them that they needed that because they're tea leaves so ha ha <laughs> so we're getting a replacement uh, but that was a little bit annoying um i thought we had more honest neighbors than that but hey ho um so um apart from that little annoyance uh basically i'm pretty much done for christmas bar, bar one, one uh, more delivery 
um, yeah, uh, my dad's uh, visiting at the moment, so I saw him yesterday afternoon um, into the evening. We had uh, dinner together, um, and uh, he's coming back this afternoon. So I'm just trying to squeeze you in before he arrives. Um, so I'm hoping to get the video edited and it can be uploaded while he's here because we won't need the internet while he's here. Um, yeah, and then tomorrow we have our dreaded appointment, um, which I'm really not looking forward to it because it's very early in the morning and it will mean defrosting cars and battling my shower and stuff but hey ho we will get through it um and then uh just the hospital appointment to go so i hope i'm hoping i'm going to get some answers this week with my health and then by friday i'll be foot loose and fancy free and i've just got a couple of people to meet up with on the run up to christmas which is all nice stuff um so literally just got to get through the next two three days and uh get all the you know horrible stuff with appointments out of the way and uh yeah we'll be laughing and ready for christmas i'm feeling a little calmer a little bit stressed about the appointments for the, the two days that are coming up but apart from that um we're ready for christmas everything's decorated pretty much everything's clean i still need to give the kitchen a good clean before christmas which i always sort of do a couple of days before uh we obviously the big day gets here and on christmas day my favorite christmas film is on in the morning uh, which is Scrooge the musical which is the version with Albert Finney if you're born in the 70s like me you will know which film I'm on about because it used to be played a lot when we were kids um, and it's funny because we had a long period where it wasn't shown on TV so much so I actually bought it on DVD and uh, the last three years it's actually been back on TV on Christmas Day um, so I'm super excited um, I'm already driving my friend nuts with it I've watched it about three times on DVD already um, I just love it it makes me so happy um, so yeah so uh, that's pretty much it for the life update um, things are hectic as you would expect for this time of year but I'm managing and I've managed to do still do the video thank you to everyone that's shown me um, support in the last video I really um, do appreciate it and old names that have popped up and saying I'm still here um, so I'm so glad that you guys are all still with me um, so thank you for that and um, that's really encouraged me um, yeah so it's, it's really good and I just want to say thank you to everyone that sort of said don't worry about us we'll be still be here waiting for you if you can't manage to do videos this week um, I really appreciate that um, I just love you guys so much that, and, and I, I so enjoy doing the channel and uh, interacting with you guys. I just didn't want to miss a video. Um, and that's my personal self, putting myself under pressure, but I managed to do it. Um, like I say, the next one for the weekend is already crocheted. I've just got ends to tie in and stuff it and stitch it together. So um, that won't take me very long. So um, I don't know what I'm going to do in the following week, but I, I'll worry about that when I get to the weekend. Um, but thank you, I really do appreciate all of you that have said, um, you know, we'll still be here even if you can't do a video this week. So I really do appreciate it. You're all such lovely people. Um, I feel very blessed um, to have you all in my life. Um, so that's it for today. Um, I hope you're well wherever you are in the world. I know there's lots of bugs going um, around at the moment. Um, so please, you know, if you're not well, please rest. Because it's so important. Um, and if you're not ill, then stay well. Happy crafting and until next time, remember to stay true to yourself. Bye.